the fig. Oh, I say his name when he starts rolling around. Fig. Show me your little belly. <laughs> you little sleepy head. Well, good afternoon. Today is Saturday. I just returned from doing some grocery shopping. I went out to Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna show you, you what I got from there. And um, and he's actually making dinner tonight, by the way. He's making burgers. And then tomorrow I'll make dinner. I'm making a recipe, I'll have to look it up. I think it's garlic and honey chicken with vegetables in the slow cooker. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, so I'll show you what I got at the store. So I got more flowers, more roses. I really like the kind of bright, kind of fierce, what do you call them, fiery ones? Where they're like yellow and orange and red and they have a lot going on. So anyways, I like those roses. Um, and then over here we've got, I'm hungry, so I bought a bit more than I was planning. So there you go. You have that warning. I got some of these little tea scones I've had before, orange cranberry. They're good. You can just have them in the morning with coffee or something, a little snack. Some more bread for lunches. Oatmeal as always. Bananas like usual. Some pink lady apples, typically. Um, I really prefer the honey crisp apples, which they still have at Whole Foods, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it out to Whole Foods this weekend, so I got some pink lady apples. Figs, I've never bought figs at Trader Joe's. Um, they're from Coachella, so they're in a, you know, Southern California or Central California area, and I thought they'd be worth a try. And then I got some blueberries as well. These ones, I think, are from Washington, so they're not California, but um, we'll see how those are. For tonight's dinner, I got, um, or excuse me, for tomorrow night's slow cooker dinner, I got some items. The um, chicken breasts right here, parsley, green beans. We'll put that in the slow cooker along with some carrots, which I already have. And then these red potatoes. And I didn't know how many red potatoes I needed, so I got two just to be safe. And then I got corn on the cob. I think that will make this tonight. Andy's doing burgers tonight, but I think it'd be good if we have corn on the cob on the side as a vegetable. So there's that. And then over here, we've got snack corner. Uh, the item I am interested in is the caramel ginger popcorn. I heard that it's really basically like just caramel popcorn and all the gingers at the bottom, so you don't have to eat it. Cause I don't know about the ginger stuff, but I do like caramel popcorn. So I got that. These are some snacks for Andy to take into work. The little tempting trail mix that I know he likes with the little containers, the banana chips I know he likes. And then this one is not as healthy, but um, peanut butter filled pretzels. I just know he'll really like that. So. <laughs> so this is what I got today at Trader Joe's. Cooking with Andy. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got french fries in the oven and it is getting hot in here, yeah. hot in her. Yeah. Um, and then, well, hang on, what are you making? First of all, that's what I should first ask, is what are you, what are you making? Hamburgers. With In-N-Out sauce, right? Yeah. The secret sauce from In-N-Out. Trying to do, trying to replicate what In-N-Out does. <laughs> And you found the sauce online, right? The in and out secret sauce, which is what you're... Right. That, did that kind of spur the idea to make the burgers? Was no, it was this the... video that I saw um, with this YouTube guy mm -hmm. uh, where he makes, they call them smash burgers. Oh, you had mentioned that. Yeah. And how do you make a smash burger? You just form like a little ball. I've mm -hmm. never done it before, but you form a ball with the meat mm -hmm. and then you heat the... Uh, oh my, iron. you're it's using that again? Favorite, oh god. Uh, you heat it up, full, uh -huh. full blast, and then you put the ball on, mm -hmm. and you smash it down. You push it down until it's like... So you get a meatball, or meat wad, as I'll refer to it, yeah. based off that character who I like from the that show. Yeah. The, whatever that show is that I was talking about the other night yeah, where remember. they have french fry and milkshake and all that stuff right. Anyway, so you take a meat wad in a circle and then you smash it down Yeah, you literally press it down flat until it's like a quarter of an inch Right, and it cooks really fast. Yeah, um, and it keeps all the juices in supposedly you only okay. season one side with salt okay. and pepper Yeah, and then you usually do two Patties oh, two patties per burger. Yeah, right. and then you just put a slice of American cheese on there. 
let it melt. Uh huh. And then on the grill top, or do you put it in the oven to no, do the on cheese? The top of the okay. Patty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then all the usual stuff like lettuce and tomato and onion, okay. pickles and stuff. And yeah. We'll, we'll take the sauce that I made, mm -hmm. which is a mix of uh, mayo, ketchup, mustard, Worcestershire, 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 Uh huh. Uh, two kinds of relish. Oh. Uh, sugar and salt. Wow. So yeah. that's in the secret sauce. Yeah, but I mean, in be... the video, the guy makes it seem super easy. They always do in the videos. Yeah, exactly. But it'll be good. The only thing that yeah. makes me wary is using this thing again because we had such a poor experience of when we use this yeah. and then we set off the smoke alarm. So now when I see this, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> This is the onion. Yeah. It looks all black. Yeah. But it smells really good. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so tasty. So now you've basically you got the cast iron skillet heated up yeah. with some olive oil, and we are hoping that it doesn't flame up and go all crazy pants. Yeah. And then the next step is that you take the meat wads. <laughs> Sorry, I'm calling it meat wads. Yeah, it's okay. You take the little meat things that have been seasoned on one side. Yeah. And then you put them on the cast iron skillet and then you smash it. Yeah, so you, the way he did it in the video is he literally just smush it down. Like oh, that. he kind of does the spoon in the center. Yeah, because you got to smash it down really To thin. even out the weight and help yeah. smush it. Right. Okay. So I'm hoping I can fit all four on this at one time. And do them all at once, just knock them all out, huh? Because yeah, these are going to be done in oh, the fries. two minutes. Yeah. It's hard to time things perfectly, so I wouldn't worry too much. I'll be out the out. Yeah. I'm gonna go and do this. Okay. So we'll see how it works. Yeah. Number one. Ooh, sizzly. Sizzly. More sizzles. You got the heat up pretty high, don't you? Put your foot there. Okay, just be careful, honey. Yeah, it's just really not coming out anything like I thought it would. Here's the french fries. Andy added cheese. We are making it so much like in and out here. We've got the burgers, your cheese fries. Over here, you've got the grilled onions, the secret sauce that you made. It is going to be such a yummy dinner. I've got cheese, grilled onions, secret sauce, lettuce, you can't see all that, pickles on the side, and fries. And then this is a scattering of grilled onions. There it is, Saturday evening. Andy and I were gonna head out for a walk to get some exercise in, and then we realized how um, dark and ashy it is due to a nearby fire that started up this afternoon. We're calling it the Whittier Fire, W-H-I-T-T-I-E-R. It's in town um, near the 154 highway. Uh, so my coworker actually lives up there, but she goes out of town on the weekend, so she's fine. Um, yeah, we went outside and then, um, you know, you can see the smoke and how dark it is. And then there's ash coming down on the ground and onto our cars. I'm not really too phased by it because we have a lot of fires. Um, in Southern California with the drought and the conditions here. We actually had a ton of fires around 2010, 2011. There's a Jesus Cita fire, the Gap fire, some other one. The room that I rented, uh, the house that I rented a room in, had, they were under mandatory evacuation during one of those just before I moved in. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, it just kind of comes with the territory, but um, we're not under any type of evacuation warning. When that happens, when we get a warning, then I'm like, oh God, but we're cool. So I told Andy it's just like snow, it's Southern California snow, which is kind of a dark way of looking at it. But um, I don't know if you'll be able to see much outside. But basically where it's like kind of orangey and dark, that's where the fire um, is at. If you could remove that tree. And then we've just got bits of ash falling down from the sky. So, yeah, um, it's not too heavy though. Sometimes we get really heavy ash. Um, hey boys, are you watching? Are you watching the ash? Let's go close that screen, okay? Let's close that. 
Yeah, so when it's really heavy ash, then you close all your windows. But it's not that heavy and we can't actually smell the smoke, so the <laughs> wind must be working in our favor, so. The fire's growing pretty fast tonight. I'm keeping an eye on it with Twitter, even though it's not nearby us. Well, it's not right nearby our neighborhood. It's still on our minds. We can't really see the mountains because it's all smoky. Look what happens when I go outside. The boys go to the door and they say, Hey, what are you doing, Mom? What am I doing? Yeah, I stepped outside. I know. I know I stepped outside, my little babies. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I figure out. I figure out. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning. Today is Sunday. We are making pancakes. And I just made some blueberry pancakes using those blueberries I got yesterday at Trader Joe's. And then a little Mr. Uh, peanut Butter Addiction here brought out some peanut butter too to add to his pancakes. So you're doing blueberry with later on peanut butter on top? Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll see how that turns out, huh? Really good. <laughs> Yeah, my, my pancake um, thing seems kind of small here. The grill or griddle, whatever, seems yeah. small. But I mean, in my old apartments, it's, you need small stuff. So. That's really all we need. Yeah, it's We're just. Not cooking for a bunch. Of a bunch. People. I know. Sometimes I think that some of my stuff or our stuff just seems a bit small here because this home is so much larger than what we are used to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the couch and just. We believe that the. Fire has calmed down a little bit. The uh, Whittier fire, as they're calling it, the one that last night had all the ash, and then the mountains just like looked red, and the moon looked red too. It was actually kind of scary. And um, even though we've had a ton of fires, it's still a little bit scary to me. And I was up late checking Twitter and uh, reading all about the fire and the evacuation zone, so I didn't sleep well last night. And then I woke up warm and sticky, so I wasn't in a great mood. Um, but we made pancakes this morning. We did the blueberry pancakes. Um, they weren't actually cooked through all the way in the center. So I ended up tossing one of mine and then making a chocolate chip pancake. And Andy and I just finished up some of our chores. Um, each weekend we split one task. So this weekend he vacuumed and mopped and I cleaned the bathrooms. That's what we split every weekend. Um, and then I always do most of the laundry. So I'm gonna start to prepare the slow cooker for a recipe that I'm doing this weekend. It's from damndelicious.net. I've done a few things from them before, like the, this garlic shrimp recipe that I really like. It's pretty easy. So I went to her website again and found a recipe for slow cooker honey, garlic, chicken, and veggies. Her pictures look pretty good. Of course, mine won't look like that, but this is what her pictures look like. And I think she uses the leg, the chicken leg, whereas I use the chicken breast. And then I have carrots that I bought last weekend that I didn't roast, so I'm gonna use those instead of buying new like baby carrots. So anywho, I'm just gonna start prepping stuff for this recipe. And um, afterwards, after this, I think I'm gonna go out, maybe get coffee, perhaps hang out at the coffee shop because they have good air conditioning and I could use it. <laughs> I'm sweaty. Um, yeah, and maybe go to the farmer's market and browse it. I'm not sure. To show you, but I put everything in the slow cooker. Uh, this is a sauce that has soy sauce, honey, um, some ketchup, some herbs, and at the bottom I've got the red potatoes sliced in half, the carrots, two chicken breasts, and then that sauce. And I've got it on slow for eight hours, but it actually, um, I'm not gonna, wait eight hours for it to finish cooking because then dinner won't be ready until like 7 30 p.m it's 8 30 or excuse me 11 30 now so um i'm gonna keep it on low for a while and then switch it over to high later and see how it goes boys where's my little stitches <laughs> i know where stitch is at i know his new spot hi stitch why do you like to lie on all my stinky shoes? <laughs> you, we both know that they don't really smell too good. Yep. <laughs> he likes hiding in the closet. Huh. You do, and your brother's just over here. You guys, you're both just a bunch of sleepyheads. You both sleep so much. 
Hey there, I am wearing a new dress that I'm uncertain about. I'm on the fence about it. I don't know if I should keep it or not. And if I do keep it, how should I style it? <laughs> so I'm wearing it right now. It's from Eva Franco um, at Anthropology, and I got it on sale for 20% off, but right now it's full price. So anywho, um, I'll flip the camera around. You can see how it looks in these mirrors. Don't mind my pale legs. So <laughs> the dress basically, it just has this black sheer slip. That's all that's underneath it. Like it could be a really cheap black slip. But um, over top of it is this, I don't know, like embroidered, tasseled, fun thing that I feel like the cats would destroy. Oh, there might be some cat hair on it. Um, Anyways, yeah, and then it's got this little emblem in the middle that almost reminds me of Frozen, but not quite. And it's kind of like got a little bit of a hippy dippy type of <laughs> folks thing going on. It has a bow on the front, which helps you um, actually figure out which side is the front because there's no tags on this part. So I'm like, which is the front? What's the back? So <laughs> and then from the side, it's got more of the little tassel y things, and it does have a longer back. So um, it's got like the high-low type of thing where it's higher up front and lower in the back. I think that's what you call it. And then the back back has that same emblem. Hence my confusion with what's, wh wh what's, which one is the front? <laughs> but the, the, the black bow in the front, that lets you know that's the front. So yeah, um, I, I think it's cute. I like the colors. I think it's kind of fun. It has a neat print. It'd be nice to wear on warm days at work because my workplace doesn't have air conditioning. So it gets warm on warm days. So during those hot days of the late summer, I want to wear a dress. But I don't know, I just, I'm kind of like on the fence about it and can't decide if I love it or not. And then if I did wear it, what would I wear with, wear with it? I was thinking I could do like, um, switch it around. I was thinking I could braid my hair and do like milkmaid braids, which I did once like a few years ago, where you just do two long braids. And my hair is pretty long now, so I could totally do the long braids. And then you just kind of clip them on top of your head. But I don't know. I, you know, I work in an office. It, it is a university, so it is very laid back and casual and right next to the beach. But I also try to wear stuff that I feel is workplace appropriate and doesn't look too silly or too young, especially because I uh, supervise uh, women who are uh, in their 60s. So I try to give like a professional kind of polished look to be taken professionally. So yeah, I haven't dressed up like wearing cute dresses and stuff like that much since starting this job because of that. So yeah, I'm just not sure about this address. So please give me your honest, constructive <laughs> feedback about it. Here we go. This is the chicken, the honey garlic chicken. I added green beans towards the end. You add them and then cook it for 30 more minutes. So we've got the green beans all on top and then the carrots and potatoes. So I need to take the chicken out and slice it up smaller for us before we plate so it. Here's our dinner all plated. The chicken really started to fall apart. I actually used tongs to grab one of the chicken breasts and it fell in half. So we've got the chicken, the carrots, potatoes, and green beans. And now we are going to sit down and have our Hello, dinner. Good evening, it's Sunday evening now. Andy and I had our dinner. Uh, the chicken was not great. It was pretty dried out. The vegetables were good though. The green beans, potatoes, and carrots. So um, he had a good idea actually, which, which was that we should save the leftover chicken and put barbecue sauce on it and then put it on one of the French rolls that we have left over. So I think that's what we'll do with those leftovers. And this week, thankfully, should be a pretty easy week at work, pretty normal. Um, last week was a little bit crazy with, um, you know, work on Monday, Tuesday was the fourth my parents visited, Wednesday was the oil change, which I actually didn't talk too much about, but I got really nervous about that, about dropping off my car and then going with Andy to work, being without my car all day and then picking it up in the evening, so that was a difficult day. Thursday was telecommute, which was cool but a little bit stressful when I was trying to find different locations to work from. And then Friday was a concert. It just, there was so much going on. So um, this should be a more normal, even keeled type of week. So anyways, I hope that you enjoy the video and that you have a good week. Bye-bye.